Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step on how to replace a MacBook A screen. And let me show you the model number. If you flip your laptop to the back, you can see that the model here is listed as A2179. And that would be the MacBook model number. And if you take a look at the screen, uh, besides my laptop here does have the uh, touch id button on the top right corner and you can also see that my screen is cracked so all this pixelated and funny disordered color it is all part of the cracked screen all right so let's go ahead and get started with it the first thing you need to have is to get yourself a pentalope screwdriver this is the p5 Go ahead and remove the screws we need to get to the back plate if you're not sure what sort of tools to buy or way to buy them what i'll do is i'll link them in the description below um, you can buy the tools from either amazon or ebay and i got mine from amazon and i'll link them in the description below so if you want to follow the tutorial on how to, uh, you know, get your screen repair or replace, uh, make sure you have all the tools and the parts uh, ready in place before you continue with the video. All right. So once you have removed all the screws, now the next step here is to go ahead and pop it open. It's very simple. What I did was I used my fingernail tuck underneath in the front of that screen and just pop it open. This two little clipper here, they sort of clip onto the um, right above on the touchpad. So you just got to pop it up and that should do it. All right, so the next step, the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and disconnect the battery. There's this little black tape. You want to expose that tape and slide a connector out to your left. So I'm sliding it that direction. At the same time, I'm kind of sliding to the left and pull. So a little bit pull, a little bit slide. That's how I disconnect the entire battery. Now the laptop would not be turning on. As you can see, I flipped the laptop on. The screen is still shut off, right? It was on earlier when I showed it to you. Once you disconnect the battery, now you're ready for the screen replacement. All right, the next step you need to have is to get yourself a T4 screwdriver. This is the T4. I'm just removing the two screws here. That is for the uh, the LCD board. Continuing removing another two screws. That two screws here is holding down to the bracket. And this bracket here is holding down to the LCD cable. So go ahead and disconnect that cable. Now the board is free and loose. Before we can disconnect that, we actually need to remove this uh, this Wi-Fi cable. Remove that one screw and the bracket. Here comes the Wi-Fi antenna. And the cable is like Lego. They kind of snap onto it. To remove, you just simply pop it, pop it out. All right. Now, once you have that removed, go ahead and remove the other two screws on the left side of the antenna. And there are another two screws on the right side of the antenna. Four screws in total, and they are the same size. Once you have removed all that, let's go ahead and get yourself ready. to remove the antenna by just lifting straight up. 
So you may have to wiggle a little bit. Sometimes it takes me a while to do that. Hopefully this is not the case. All right, so I'll tell you slightly where the pressure point is holding on onto the Wi-Fi antenna. If you take a closer look here, you see this metal bracket, uh, this little metal metal piece right here. So it's somewhat kind of clipped onto the base on your laptop. So that, that metal piece, they kind of clip onto the base on here. That is where the pressure point, you need to push it up a little to separate the Wi-Fi antenna. So once you have separated on that antenna, let's put that on the side. The next step you need to have is to get yourself a T8, a Torque 8 screwdriver. We'll be removing the, the three screws that is holding onto the hinge. So once you remove that, remove the other three screws here. Okay, once you have removed the six screws in total, the next step you can do is go ahead and open up your laptop. So I'll be holding onto my laptop in one hand, and the other hand I'll be holding onto the screen. I'm opening up the laptop to right more than slightly more than 90 degree angle, and then you can just slide it the screen out. So the important thing is you're holding down to the uh, the main base of your laptop here. You try not to drop the laptop, but you just want to open up at 90 degree angle, far enough for the hinge to slide off the laptop. All right, so there you go. That is your uh, bad screen here, the cracked screen, and we'll be replacing with the new one. However, I do not have the new screen with me at this moment, and I'm just trying to show you the process on how to do the screen replacement if this is the real situation, right? So um, I'll be waiting for the new screen to come in, but at this point, I do not have the new screen. So I'll be showing you, assuming that this is the new screen and um, let's go ahead and put it back together. All right, before I do that, I would like to ask a small favor from you. If you can go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel, that would really help to keep me motivated to make more of this type of video for you. And if you need any help, any question, comment below. I will try to um, answer those questions. All right. So assuming this is the new screen that comes in, you want to make sure that you have the hinge open at about 90 degree angle. Now this is the, uh, the LCD board. Make sure the LCD board is sticking above the laptop, not underneath the laptop. So this is what I call the underneath. This is what I say above the laptop. Okay, so make sure it's above. Slide the hinge down. We have the hinge open, slide it down. Check the cable again, make sure it's above the laptop. And then make sure the other hinge is sliding as well. Now before I can close the LCD screen, Let's go ahead and put one screw in first, right? So we need to have that one screw. We need to have that one screw in and one screw in on the other side. Now we can close the screen. Now once the screen is closed, do not forget to put all the screws back in. You want to go ahead and secure the, the LCD screen nicely. So we'll get the screws all in.
Okay. And once you have that installed, the next step is to go ahead and get the Wi-Fi antenna, put it back all together, right? So make sure that the LCD board is inserted in between that little hole right here. So in between that hole. Okay, so in between that hole. Now what you want to do is you want to align your Wi-Fi antenna with that little pressure point I was explaining earlier. So this wish is right in the middle. And you just want to push it down and snap it back in. Now once that thing is in, holding down to the Wi-Fi antenna, have the four screws. Remember that two screws on each side of the antenna. Have it back in. Get yourself a T4 screwdriver. And fasten that screw. Once you have that installed, remember the two black screw here holding down to the LCD board. That is very important. We need to make sure it is screwed in, holding down to the logic board. There's one. There's the second one. Once you have that installed, this LCD cable here, reconnect back to the board. Okay. You just have to push it back in. They are just like Lego. It snap in very easily. Now, remember the two tiny screws that are holding down to the bracket. Let's go ahead and put it back in. And then this is your Wi-Fi. You want to pay very close attention to the Wi-Fi, okay? Do not break it. Do not force it in. I want you to really spend the time, pay attention to it and try not to break it when you put it back. So what it is, is the, now it's already in, but what it is, is that the Wi-Fi, right? The circle, that the circle that is on the motherboard is waiting for the cable, this flex cable connector to go on top of it. So it's pretty much you're matching that smaller circle with the bigger circle to push it in together, right? So try not to off the circle and push it in. If you push it too hard and you bend that motherboard circle or you bend the connector, is which if you bend the cable connector, that is not too bad because you can buy the replacement antenna. But the circle on the motherboard and that thing is bent, you, you would have hard time fixing that circle. In other words, pretty much it's not repairable, right? Because the circle is not replaceable. Anyway, you don't have to force it in uh, to, in, to install the Wi-Fi antenna. They are quite easy to install. Once you align them in the right position, you just press it in and it would very easily snap back together. Okay. So spend some time. Don't force it in. Now put that one screw back in, reconnect your battery. Just reconnect the battery. by sliding back to your right okay there you have it that's pretty much all the steps you need to do get the base realign them back again and push right in the middle here to re-click that thing back together do not forget the screws all around the board and screw it back in using your p5 pantalope screwdriver now the computer do not be afraid you need to find your charger, plug it in, and that's how the computer would restart and turn it back on. If you try to turn it on, if you try to turn it on right now, it may not work. Maybe the battery is dead, or maybe you just need the power. So find yourself a power charger, plug it in, and you should have a working laptop with a brand new screen. 
I hope the video is helpful. And if it does, comment below and tell me that whether you were able to follow along my video and get your screen replaced um, or any other question, comment below. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.